What's going on, Average Joes? It's been a while since I've done an update, so I figured I might as well do one now. So how's it going? Thanks thanks for coming back as always. Uh, if you're new around here, new subscriber, thank you for subscribing and you know uh, check out all my other videos. Got a bunch of uh, playlists in, in my uh, channel. And I've been having some fun this Christmas season with some of my themed videos and my new intro and all those things. Um, I was traveling for a while, which I'll get into in a little bit, but I wanted to update on some of my reading and I got a lot of things to talk about with my channel, with my, uh, you know, life and stuff like that. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna do here now. So, um, starting with books, I finally finished salute the dark, which is the book four in shadow of the app series. Definitely liked it a lot. Um, I started to have more issues here and there, you know, pacing it's a little, there's a little too much, too much going on. One of the characters I still hate and now it's just becoming a, a joke, um, her whole, her whole storyline and arc. Um, so I'm just going to keep enjoying joking on her for a while. So that's, that's uh, the first four books are its own arc. And then book five, I don't know when it picks up a couple years later or something. I, I don't know. There's a gap, but I'll, I'll kick that down the road till next year. I'm not sure if uh, Alan or the read along going on in, on Alan's channel for this is going to continue or when it will continue, but I'll pick it up down the road then. This one took me a long time to read, mostly because I was traveling. Um, but some other video, uh, other books that I've been reading or that I've read recently that I haven't really talked about. Uh, one of them was Spirits of Vengeance, which I actually, right when I made, right when I finished reading that, I made the uh, Why You Should Read Mortal Techniques video because it is a fantastic series. Spirits of Vengeance is the most recent one in that. And it was so, so good. It might be, it's probably my top three books of the year, which is a lot to contend with you know I, i've read probably over 70 books this year and two i have two top three of my favorite series that happened this year but we're talking about individual books spirit of vengeance is i think is going to be in the top three it is it was so so good that's why i highly recommend it but i haven't really talked about it much on the channel because i don't really do a whole lot of updates i don't do a weekly update or anything like that so i want to talk about here yeah spirit of vengeance i'd highly recommend it the moral technique series is all standalone books but they're within the same they're within the same world and they have connections they have carryover characters between books so highly recommend you check that one out or check out my video on the moral techniques because uh they are so so good uh, on the other side of that i might have a possible D second dnf of tigana so last year i tried to read tigana and i got a third third of the way through and i dnf'd it because it was just way too slow way too much side stuff was going on. I didn't really know what was happening. Too descriptive, too long of prose, that, that kind of thing I just don't like. So I was like, okay, this year, I'm gonna give it a second try. I'm gonna do an audiobook. So through the audiobook, because all of those things just go on and on, I was like, okay, I, I actually I listened to at like 1.8 to 2.0 uh, speed and I'll get through it. But now I'm at a point where there's just so much side stuff happening and like Guy Gavroke has some serious ADD. Like there is just this side tangent after side tangent of just like what like I, I just want to know does any of this matter or are you just building a world like I, I understand and like world building I like to have things sprinkled in but like what actually matters here like I don't really care about half of these things or do I should I I have no idea so I just don't think guy got okay writing styles for me so I'm on the edge of should I DNF or not because even through listening to it you know I because he goes off on so many different side things, I zone out because I don't think all of it matters. And now I'm at a point where it's like, I don't even know who these characters are really because I just missed, missed some things. I don't know what's important. I don't know what's not. So it might be a second DNF for me for Tagana. I just cannot click with that writing style and all of the long endless prose and just ADD writing style of look. I'm just going to tell you all of this stuff about this magical fish, fictional world that I made up and Something might matter, something won't, but I just want to tell you about all this stuff that popped up on my head. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's a, another Tagana struggle for me, and I know I'm in the minority with Tagana because I think I'm literally the only person that doesn't like it. Everybody else seems to absolutely love it. I'm going to try and push through, see if I can get farther into it, but I have a nonfiction book to get to first before I go back into that. Uh, now going into, I'm almost finalized my 2022 reading plan. I have I gave a preview of it in my last update back in October, where I just had a, I had a list of the of the books. Now I've actually broken it down into my priority tiers, which I like to do. So if you didn't know, my reading plans for each year I make in priority tiers. I put a bunch of series and books that I want to read in that year, and then I prioritize them in you know priority reads, secondary reads, you know wild card reads, 
extras, you know, things like that, or like series continue. So they're in different tiers and categories. And I based my reading off of that. And this year I did really, really well. I did I knocked out most of my priorities, a good bit of my secondaries, and then threw in some others. And that's how it should be. So I've broken down mine. Um, I'm going to give another glance, go through, switch some stuff around and see, um, see what might change, but I should be coming out with that. Maybe, maybe Wednesday, maybe the day, day after, I don't know. Uh, I got to see what my video schedule is going to be like, but speaking of with, uh, book reading, planning and stuff, one thing that j just popped up into my, well, from secondary to primary is because I'm actually going to this slight announcement, want to do a read along for the war for the rose throne. So in my um, previous video of, you know, will you read these with me kind of thing that I did, the series that I want to read, a lot of people had interest in War for the Rose Throne. The fourth and final book, I believe it's the, the fourth and final book comes out in January. So the series will be complete. And that's kind of like one of the biggest markers for me is I don't really start series unless the end is in, is, is in sight, is near. So War for the Rose Throne is going to be I want to do a official read along on my channel for the first one. Not sure how I'm going to execute it. Uh, I don't have a discord. I don't really plan on getting a discord. I don't want to have to manage a community. I already do some of that stuff uh, uh, for work a little bit. I just don't want to have to manage it. But if I do one or something like that, it might just be like a single chat and it'll just be or like chapter chat. That's all it's going to be for the war for the rose throne read along. So that's happening. So if you're interested in that, you know, start looking out for deals, start buying them now. Um, I want to do it now. It's just about a matter of when I'm not sure when I want to do it. I don't like starting read alongs or, or these buddy reads in January. I want January to just be, I'm going to read and start my priority reads for the year. February. We'll see. I, I, I'll see what else is going on. If there's any, any other buddy reads, I got to see what other ones are coming, but you know, maybe March, it, it might be a good time to start war for the rose throne. That's like a TBD March, uh, timeframe. And, um, speaking of early things next year, or also why I don't want to do in January or maybe in February is because we are in the middle of a move right now. So literally in a couple of days, the movers are coming, packing up most of our house. A week later, the second set of movers are coming, packing up like smaller stuff of the house that it can get there uh, faster. And then we're going to be living in hotels for weeks. So this may be one or two videos. I'm going to have to try and pre-record things to get ahead uh, for the channel. And then after that, my this is not going to be my setup. I'm going to be recording in hotels or whatever the heck I can record. And maybe I'll miss some recording. Who knows? Uh, I started this channel in March. And ever since I set my goal to do two videos a week, Sundays and Wednesdays, and I've traveled internationally, done all kinds of traveling since then. And I have not missed my Sunday and Wednesday schedule. And sometimes I even put stuff on on Fridays. Um, we'll see if I can keep that up now. It's, it's uh, going to be cutting a lot uh, close, but if it happens, then it happens. Uh, I'm trying not to go anywhere. Well, YouTube wise, I'm trying not to go anywhere, but I'm actually physically literally going somewhere. Uh, right now we live, for those who don't know, in Bahrain, in the, which is the Middle East, and we are moving all the way to California. So that's like halfway around the world, basically on the other side of the world is where we're moving. And yeah, so big move, a lot of things in flux. Uh, my office is basically going to be packed up for a while. So I'll be on a laptop, but I'll have my, my camera and my mic and all that because I use it for work anyway. So that's all the stuff that's happening with everything that's coming up. So the books that I've been reading, uh, play read is going to happen, you know, being in the middle of a move, it's going to be going to be a struggle. I just got done traveling or me and my wife just got done traveling for Thanksgiving. We were gone in the States for two and a half weeks. So I wasn't really very active on, uh, either discords, YouTube, stuff like that. I, I, I went, I went in and responded to all my comments. I definitely like to interact with people there. And I, I uh, I pre-recorded pretty much all those videos ahead of time before I left because I knew I was going to be gone for a while. So I'm glad people have been showing a lot of interest in those videos, getting a lot of good traction there. Um, so thank you for, for all that, for your interaction, for comments and such. Uh, subscribers have kind of like narrowed or uh, leveled off, which is, you know, it's whatever, it's fine. Uh, but I'm still going to keep on making videos and hopefully, you know, 2022 brings a little bit more of an influx of followers. But I'm um, just glad to be still making these, glad to still have people interested. And um, I think I've been getting better and better as we go. But that's how it's happening with me. A lot of traveling, a lot of moving, a lot of things happening. Uh, but I'm still going to continue. Uh, I did not get to read very much when I was traveling. That's what I was, uh, why I said it um, took me so long to finish Salute the Dark. I read uh, all of like four chapters in the two weeks that I was gone. Uh, we were just always doing something or with family or, you know, it was my brother's wedding. So there was a whole like four or five days tied up with that. Um, and then 
usually when I'm home and celebrating and, and visiting family and stuff, there's usually more, more alcohol than usual. And I don't read typically after that because I'm just going to forget what the heck I read uh, after I'm, I've been drinking. So I just didn't read. Um, it happens. I'm not really too trashed about it. My reading for the years over what I thought it was going to be. So it's fine. I finished that. I, the only book that I really want to finish or get to next, I'm currently reading, I guess I should have said this earlier. I'm currently reading book three, uh, Sleepwalking with um, by uh, the, in the Nightmare Land Chronicles series, book three called Sleepwalking. It's really, really good. Uh, this one's taking another an unexpected turn, but it's still, I'm enjoying it a lot. And the next book that I will read will be finally finishing Books of Babel, The Fall of Babel is book four. It came out last month. I didn't get to it because all, all my reading was halted, but that is the next one that I want to get to. And I'd really like to finish it this year just because I, I'm supposed to finish it this year because starting early next year is when I'm go, I want to start my party reads. And this one is not on next year's books. So I have to finish it this year, basically is what I'm saying. Uh, because the start of next year, I think the first book that I'm going to start to read is Assassin's Apprentice, finally going to read Robin Hobb. So that is my plan for that. But I'm going to wrap it up here. This is my update. Let me know uh, what your, what, what's happening with you in your life. You know, you got anything, big uh, plans, big things going on for Christmas. And also, if you're interested in the War for the Rose Throne, read along because I want to do it. Um, what month might be best? Um, right now, I'm thinking March, but we'll see. I'm going to kind of kind of ask some other people that are uh, actually interested when will be best. And then we're going to start there. But let's chat more in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.